Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here to northern part of Texas. Like many parts of the country, this area of rising population also means a surging demand for water. And that means huge investment in the pipes needed to carry that water across the country is needed as well. Let's take a look. Today, the demand for water has never been more critical. As new population centers rise, the demand for reliable water sources also surges. But for decades, there has been a substantial underinvestment in pipelines and needed water infrastructure. Fresh drinking water obviously is, the, is, is what sustains life. And we live in some of the fastest growing, we serve some of the fastest growing cities in the United States. And so constantly on the lookout to keep ahead of that, of that growth. Much of our drinking water infrastructure in the U.S. was built in the mid 20th century with an expected lifespan of 75 to 100 years. It'll take an estimated 200 years to replace the aging system. But a host of huge water supply projects are currently underway that are safeguarding the transportation of safe water supply in North America. We have a 280 mile, 48 and 42 inch project going for the Navajo Nation, or Navajo Gallup project as it's called, funded by the Bureau of Reclamation. We've worked on canal enclosure projects which involve a 126 inch pipe being enclosing over 20 miles of canal in Utah. Today, the water is the backbone of civilization, having clean, safe drinking water. Each of these pipeline projects is being supported by Northwest Pipe Company, the largest manufacturer of engineered steel water pipe systems in North America. As one of Earth's most recyclable materials, steel is an ideal component for a new water pipeline or to replace an aging system. So Eric, when it comes to pipes carrying water, why steel? Steel's been around for over 150 years. Today, the product has only gotten better with better coating systems, easier installation, and when you put 200 million gallons of water through that pipe a day, you have 200 million gallons leaving that pipe. There's no loss. Here at its Saginaw, Texas facility, one of 10 Northwest pipe manufacturing facilities in North America, constant innovation in pipe design is underway. Unlike iron or plastic pipe material, Northwest pipe manufactures each piece of steel pipe to be part of an engineered system designed specifically to a project's performance requirements or site conditions. This is where we manufacture or we take the pipe that's been manufactured and turn it into all the elbows and outlets and all the special pieces that go into a pipeline project. We don't just sell just plain straight pipe, we actually sell an engineered product. So all of the, all the elbows, outlets are all produced before the pipe goes out to the field. These are engineered systems. We produce them to the specifications that the, that the owner and the engineers require. So it's very important that we get it right and we do it right. Just as the ancient Romans constructed aqueducts to bring in outside water, the water pipeline industry may seem unchanged over the years, but the engineering team at Northwest Pipe is bringing fresh ideas to a timeless industry including seismic resilient joints for steel water pipe, designed to endure a seismic event like an earthquake. The major concern with, a, with an earthquake with buried pipe is that you're going to get what's called permanent ground deformation. In other words, the ground is gonna permanently shift. You're gonna have like landslides or liquefaction, uh, or you're gonna have a big compression area, and the pipe is going to try and move with the ground. And so the big, the big thing that you're concerned about is that you're going to deform the pipe to a point to where it will rupture. And with the InfraShield joint, we believe we've designed a, a, designed a joint that will take that kind of movement and still maintain the flow uh, to the critical infrastructure 
after, after an event. One such innovative project is happening here in North Texas, near the town of Leonard, where Northwest Pipe has manufactured over 22,000 tons of engineered steel welded pipe to bring water from a water treatment center to 80 communities across this growing region. Well, this is a big project. I mean, the, the, the total system is you know, 60 miles of 84-inch and 90-inch pipe. It's a big job for Garney. We have the collaboration on the front end of the project, working together to design a system that, you know, there's a lot of things. There's the engineering of the system, but then how does it get designed and built for it so it can be installed, installed effectively and safely? And, and those are just as important as the actual design of the system, and, and Northwest Pipe works with us on that, that very closely. This is a landmark project. This is the first reservoir that has been permitted in the state of Texas in about 30 years. And that's what makes it significant. We, our cities, the 80 cities, communities that we serve, very, very, very important project for them. It will sustain their growth, their businesses uh, for years to come, for about 20 years to come. Constructing pipelines is expensive. Steel offers a great life cycle. Well, we offer a product here that delivers that through engineering practices. Higher performance coatings, better steel, better lining systems, all to address the needs of that project. No matter where these steel pipelines actually carry the water, we all have a role in moving and conserving one of Earth's most natural resources. Safe water really determines the quality of life on our planet.